We start this evening tracking the tropics. Thanks for joining us on 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Josh Sador, which in for Frank and I'm Courtney Robinson. Tonight there is a possibility of tropical development. Our team is watching that. We are your hurricane headquarters. Meteorologist Colleen Campbell is in for Bobby Deskins and Colleen, where is this system? Yeah, Courtney, so and Joshua and all of you at home. So we have this area, this little wave that you see here coming off the coast of Africa. That's all those bright colors that you notice. We have this little area of disturbed weather that's going to interact with that wave. So right now it is in the central south central Atlantic Basin kind of out to sea here, and this is something that we have highlighted and it's worth keeping our eye on to see if it will form into our next name system. Now the tropics have been very quiet the last two weeks. You've heard us say a lot about that Saharan dust. The Saharan air, uh, air layer, as it's often called, is uh, peaking around July 22nd. Well, we just passed that and this just just going off the of climate data when we usually see that surplus of uh, the Saharan dust. So July 22nd just passed that days ago, right? Here we are today, the peak of the season. We're entering towards that September 10th. August is right around the corner, and this is usually the time of year when we start to see the tropics ramp up, especially for the Atlantic and going into the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, Saharan dust is still out there, but this system is a little bit ahead of that current wave of Saharan dust. That Saharan dust is going to fade away a little bit and then increase as we move into next week. We are going to talk about the tropics a little bit more in the full weather. Right now, it's nothing to be alarmed about. It's just a little uh, disturbance that we have our eye on. Josh. All right, you'll keep an eye on it, Colleen. Thank you. You can check the weather on the go by downloading our free 10 Tampa Bay app, where you can also track the heat and see the UV index as you plan your time outdoor this weekend. We